Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a very, very important broadcast of Jerusalem's Gate. Before we get started, I ask you, and I don't say this, I may, may have said this a couple of times, I ask you to please stick out and watch this video to its completion. It's very important, and I'm just not saying that to get views, I can assure you. Uh, before we get started, uh, there's no doubt that God has been sending signs to the earth uh, and to our country that our country uh, it has turned away from them. And uh, you have people like myself, because I've been saying it for so many years now, uh, and you, you see the signs that Jesus warns us about, the earthquakes, tsunamis, seeing the waves roaring, uh, the uh, 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 hurricanes, uh, wars and rumors of wars, great signs on the sun, moon, and stars, these great signs from heaven. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, our country, God has been pleading, and others uh, have been pleading on behalf of God that our country has ceased to be a Christian nation and has turned away from God. We've taken them out of the Schools, uh, we may give more evil, more rights to evil than good. Uh, the human rights atrocities, uh, and I think I, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the abortion holy cost that's uh, slaughtering 2,000 children a day. Not only as a, our country started taking a little s tiny step, but the Lord revealed to me that it's turned around and going in the opposite direction, and, and, and even is going to go worse than it was before. Now, what I'm about to show you, it was written 2,000 year, years ago by the Apostle uh, Peter. Uh, let's get started. Now, first of all, let's, let's climb in Peter's uh, mind. Let's climb in Peter's mind here 2,000 years ago that has no idea of the inventions that would be made in the future. Okay, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering. In other words, He's been trying everything in His power to tell us that we were headed to catastrophe. We keep turning away from God to us. We're not willing that any should perish. He's not, he's not, he doesn't want nobody to perish, but that all should come to repentance. Now keep that word repentance in mind. Verse 10, but, they, but the day of the Lord, they call it the day of the Lord, not the day of the devil or anything. The day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. They won't be expecting it. In which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise. So uh, the heavens here, they're talking about the first heaven where the clouds are at. So Peter is saying that one day, the uh, skies will part with a loud noise. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that therein shall be burned up. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let, let's go over this before I say that. Uh, verse 11. Uh, Seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are we to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Now, here it goes. When God repeats the same thing twice within just a few verses, he's trying to tell us the, the utmost importance that we understand this. Looking for the in hasting unto the coming of the day of God, they call it the day of God, they don't call it the day of the devil, wherein the heavens, the first heavens, being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Now, I know you're smart enough because if I can figure it out, anybody can figure it out. But Peter is describing exactly probably what you're thinking. A nuclear exchange, some kind of nuclear holy cause, some kind of nuclear catastrophe on a mass scale. Now, you know, it's... Uh, I've literally... And I'm just one... Uh, there's many people that's done the same thing. But I have blanketed the internet for many, many years, I have I have gone, and I'm not trying to sound a trumpet for myself. I, I promise you I'm not. I'm just trying to state something. For many years, 
on a daily basis I went to house to house and the car to the car to car in the coldest of the winter and the hottest of the summer for many years I went on street corners I've gone to many churches I've gone I've gone across the world uh, praying about this and preaching this that uh, we're, we're headed away from further away from God now uh, let's let's look at this right here this is Isaiah chapter 24 and this is something that Isaiah I believe wrote about what's happening in the current the uh, uh, very near future okay he says the earth mourneth in other words the earth is groaning and mourning you see these volcanoes this video clip I'm fixing to show you this news clip uh, that's just a small 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 example of the earth groaning these hurricanes, these earthquakes, these forest fires, tornadoes, stuff like that. Uh, the world languishes and fadeth away. In other words, the world is going to fade away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. Verse 5. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. In other words, the people are going to defile the world because of their deeds because they have transgressed the laws changed the ordinance broken the everlasting covenant and, and what the Lord revealed to me is that our covenant of being a Christian nation our forefathers that created this country and built this country told us what would happen if we turned away from God and ceased for being a Christian nation okay verse 6 therefore hath the curse devour the earth and they dwell therein are desolate therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left God always said saves a remnant now it says here the earth some people may say well why would the earth be afflicted for something that's happening here I asked the same question in prayer many 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 years ago and the Lord revealed to me in prayer that is because we wanted to be the human rights protectors of the world and we're violating the very laws that we were supposed to protect in a, with human rights atrocities and I think you know what I'm talking about uh, not to mention the slaughter of 2,000 children a day in what is called the abortion holocaust uh, and, and, and the Lord, and I, I put this up before uh, 2 Chronicles 7 14 this is what the God this is what God has been wanting if my people which are called by my name now what that means is the Lord revealed to me is that the United States is supposed to be the most successful Christian nation the biggest Christian nation okay Christians means Christ ones Christ Jesus Christ Jesus is his name Christ is his title but he still that's his name Jesus Christ which are called by my name so he's talking about the United States shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways like the abortion holy cause uh, inflicting pains I mean the list goes on I can sit here all day and, and talk about giving more rights to evil than the good uh, and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and here it is and I will heal their land ladies and gentlemen uh, the Lord has uh, been warning for many decades and sending signs for decades and not only have we not heeded to it as a nation we are turning around and we're going right back and, and you're going to be even further away from God and ladies and gentlemen the abortion holy cause is just a, another example uh, that will continue it looks like and uh, give him more rights to evil than good and the uh, things that I just talked about but here comes a video just shows you a small example of the earth groaning but watch the next video. It's the inventor of the atomic bomb. It's only like a minute long or two minutes long at the most. And it's, it's an interview he had later in life 
after the, the bomb was invented and he, he got older. And look at, when you watch this video, look at him. You can tell he's a tormented soul because he's smart enough to figure out that he invented something that should be used one day in a very, very mass way. Remember, I say this with all the love and concern for each and every one of you. Please watch these two videos to its completion, especially the last video. It's only a couple of minutes long. We love you. Here they come. On Lembata Island in Indonesia's southernmost province, this is Mount Ili Lewotolok. Thousands usually live on the slopes of the volcano, accustomed to its quiet grumbling close to their homes. But days ago, a large eruption triggered panic among the local population. Ash shot more than four kilometers into the sky. People fled their homes and sought shelter. I was so scared, I fed my goats quickly and took off to the town. The volcano is still highly active. Authorities have closed the nearby airport and set up a safety zone. There were still eruptions this morning. Every time it happens, there's thick smoke coming from the volcano. Emergency shelters are providing food, blankets and medication. We will keep evacuating people in accordance with the warning. The closest villages could potentially be hit by hot lava and volcanic materials. Local authorities are also having to deal with the ongoing health crisis. Diarrhea, dengue fever and COVID-19. We are implementing health protocols in the camp to stop new virus clusters forming. The alert for the volcano was raised to the second highest warning level and experts on the ground warn against complacency. According to the data, there have been intense volcanic earthquakes and there is the potential for more eruptions. Indonesia sits on what's known as the Ring of Fire, which makes it vulnerable to frequent seismic activity. It has 147 volcanoes and several have been highly active this month. Four volcanoes across different islands are now on the second highest alert level, prompting the evacuations of thousands of people. Authorities here in the capital say they are closely monitoring the situation after sensors picked up an increase in volcanic activity. Authorities say the situation is normal. In Indonesia, in one year, normally 10 to 12 volcanoes erupted. Uh, can be at the same time, can be uh, in different uh, time. On Lombata Island, the streets are quiet and the houses empty. People left not knowing. We knew the world would not be the same. Two people laughed. Few people cried. Most people were silent. I remembered the line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita. Vishnu is trying to persuade the prince that he should do his duty and to impress him takes on his multi-armed form and says, now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all thought